Hi everyone, welcome. This is Satvik. In this video, I'm going to show you how I have created an open source implementation of Notebook LM. So this video has a story. So I have recently made a tweet on how I created an open source implementation of Notebook LM. And uh, this was a very simple tweet that I made and I was shocked to see that uh, it actually got viral. As we speak, it has around 56,000 views with hundreds of reposts and uh, likes and so on. So what I thought is I'll just make a video to show you how I have created this and I will also run you through the code and what are some things that you can build with it. So uh, let us just go over the tweet very quickly and then I'll show you the code and how you can run this. So I'm actually using a DeepSeek v3 API to create content of the podcast and then I'm going to use uh, TTS text to speech model from play HD uh, for the voice and uh, the way I have structured the code is it can create uh, podcasts on any topic and it is also 100% customizable and the best part is all of the code is written within 50 lines of code so that anyone can uh, modify it play around with and uh, build your own version of podcasts. So here is the GitHub link. So let me click on this. It currently has around 98 GitHub stars. So maybe by the time I upload this video, I should probably cross 100. So that is great. So uh, this is how it works. So let me just uh, click on the Collab Notebook and actually show you how it is actually working. This is the code. You can just click on Open and Collab and uh, open this code in a Collab Notebook. And you can also run this code along with me. So let me run the code one by one. So the first step is to install uh, the Falaya client. So we are using this client to get use the play HT TTS model. And we are actually installing Langchain OpenAI because we want to use DeepSeq model from Open Router. So since uh, Open Router follows OpenAI uh, API structure, so we can actually use Langchain OpenAI for it. So let me just install these and uh, let me also save my API keys into this. As you can see, I have uh, installed both the packages and I've also sa oh, saved the API keys. So the next step is to create the uh, speaking context, right? So whenever I give it a topic, I should be able to create the transcript between two speakers. So this is how my podcast template looks like. So I'm actually creating a template where I just say create an engaging conversation between two speakers. So this is the topic input and I'm just giving some requirements. So I don't want uh, uh, the initial podcast to be very long. So I just limit it to five back and forth exchanges. And uh, one of the key thing that you need to note is that the output of this uh, LLM call should always be in this particular format. So no other symbols, it should just give us the output uh, starting speaker one, speaker two and so on, because this is the format in which play HT TTS takes the input. So you will have to make sure that uh, the output from this API is always in this format. So you can see in the prompt template as well that I ask it to follow the same structure. So you can pause the video and uh, read the prompt template more. But let me uh, uh, go down and say in the next step, I'm initiating uh, the DeepSeq API model. Uh, how am I doing it? So I'm actually using chat OpenAI from Langchain and I'm just changing the OpenAI API key and base to open router so that I'll be able to use it. I'm just linking the uh, prompt template and the LLM chain. So this function, so generate podcast transcript, uh, whenever you give it a topic input, it will actually create us uh, some speaker conversation. So let me show you how that works. So we have successfully run this function. So now what I can do is uh, I can just ask uh, generate podcast transcript and I'm giving it a topic quantum random box. So let me just uh, run this one. You can see this is the output that we have and this is exactly in the format that I wanted it to be. So it starts with speaker one, speaker two, one, two, one, so on and so forth. If you want a bigger context uh, or maybe the bigger content, you can just mention that explicitly in your prompt template that you want 10 back and forth thing. Or maybe if you want, if you have a word limit, you can just say that all the conversation should be at least 10,000 words or characters. So you can also change that in your uh, transcript. So once you have this uh, transcript ready, in this format, we can directly use uh, play HD TTS model to actually convert this into two speaker conversation. So for that, uh, this is the code that you will be using. So you can see uh, the first part of the code for generate podcast is just to 
generate uh, the transcript for it and I'm just printing it here and this is the core code so I'm actually using uh, play HTTTS LDM so uh, LDM is the model that helps us uh, create a podcast where you can define two voices instead of instead of single voice doing the entire uh, podcast we can actually define two voices and speaker one and speaker two will take that effectively and this is the simple function you can just run it so i did some uh, error handling so on and so forth so i can just uh, run this function so now this function is ready and in the second part all i have to do is to just uh, mention what topic I want uh, the podcast for and the podcast will be ready for me to listen to. You can just enter the topic name and just say generate podcast. So first it will create the transcript. Then that transcript will be passed on to play HT TTS model and then we will have a audio URL which we can download the song and listen to. So let me click on generate podcast and see what is the output. So first we are seeing that uh, the transcript is being generated. So which we have this ready. And now it will take some time around, uh, I have seen it typically taking around anywhere between three to five minutes or sometimes even more to generate podcasts. So if you are, uh, the length of your speech is long, so it will obviously take more time. So let's wait for around three to four minutes and then uh, we'll be able to listen to the podcast. Generated in just 43 seconds. So earlier I had to wait for a lot longer. So which is great that we only have to wait for this time. So we have this audio URL, I can just click on this and let us uh, listen to the uh, quality of the speech and how it is coming out. This is the audio file that I have, so let me just play this. Have you heard about quantum random walks? They're like classical random walks, but with quantum mechanics twists. Yeah, instead of moving step by step, particles can exist in superpositions, right? It's mind blowing. Exactly. And the interference effects make them spread faster than classical walks. Exponentially faster in some cases. That's wild. So does this have practical applications or is it mostly theoretical for now? Huge potential. Quantum algorithms for search and optimization use them, like in Rover's algorithm. Game changer for computing. So as you can see, the quality of audio was also very good. And uh, you can also check out the cost on file.ai. Last time I checked, it's not very much. So you just have to spend around a dollar for around 100 minutes or so. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. But yeah, so this is how you can uh, create your own version of Notebook LM. So some things that we will be adding very soon is that uh, we will also try to add some rack support and put it on the same folder. Till then you can just uh, try modifying the prompt template as you wish and try it out with different LLM models and also try different speeches. Give it a try, try this out and create your own podcast and subscribe to Build Fast with AI for more updates on this.